Welcome to our mini a day stained glass behind the scenes miniature course. This is basically talking about our um, copper foiling technique for stained glass, <clears throat> showing you some of the tools that you need and supplies. These are burnishers and they help place the copper foil on the, um, the glass. You have a fid and you have a burnisher and we'll be discussing that in a little while. Uh, many different types of burnishers are available. You can even use um, something round. We've noticed that some folks have actually used an aluminum um, crochet hook. Some have used ink pens. Then you need foil, and there are a variety of foils. You have copper backed, black backed, and you'll see silver backed copper foil. Different sizes from 7 30 seconds to a quarter of an inch to a half an inch to an inch maybe even larger. Your stained glass is going to be three, three millimeters wide, so you need to cover that. It depends on how much foil you want to cover, how much solder you want to see on your piece. I've used the 732nd primarily, but I've also used the quarter inch. And these are typical holders that can hold your copper foil so that it doesn't run off with you because it's very slippery. So this is one of the holders, and this is a tool caddy that can hold your soldering iron. After you grind your pieces, and you know that they're, they're going to match, and I'm just using clear glass just to show examples of the foil. Um, this is silver-backed copper foil. It's copper on the outside, silver-backed on the underside, and it has an adhesive. And the reason it has an adhesive is because you're going to lay it right on your piece. You center your piece, on the foil and you just wrap it around and that's the reason you grind it so you have this matte looking surface so it's rough enough that it will attach to the adhesive now many of you have asked why do you do silver versus copper versus black the reason being and that's the reason I'm using clear glass I'm going to show you okay you come all the way around try to overlap it exactly the same. But if you don't, you can always use an X-Acto knife. I'm going to tear it so I can do that. It's not going to be a perfect sticky substance. You need just enough to get it on the glass. Alright, I'm going to leave it off like this for a reason. Next you're going to wrap it over the side. Okay, now I want you to look through. Do you see the silver? You're going to use a silver patina because we're not perfect. We may make a mistake. The silver patina is a colored patina that you put on the solder that matches the backing of your copper foil. So just in case you went over a little bit, it won't be so obvious. The other thing you can do is use an X-Acto knife. So once I get it to the other side, I'm going to smooth it. Now you can use a fid and push in corners. I personally like the burnisher, I've, but you can also use an ink pen. You're going to rub this on as tight as you can to make sure it's secure to the sides and you see I have a curve I chose a curve piece on purpose so you can see the straight and the curved edges you go all the way around then you start securing the sides I like to do my ends first you'll find your own personal preference and also when you're starting the copper foil find the area that um, maybe has a little more of a space and you can put your copper foil there. Now let's say I don't have enough here. Take it and readjust it. You can always add another piece of foil if you have to because this is going to be, you're going to put flux on this and you're going to solder it to your each piece. This basically is a conduit, if I'm saying that correctly, to make sure your pieces um, work together. And you can see already I have silver on the other side. And you're going to take this and once you foil the two pieces together, this one becomes foiled and this one becomes foiled. And then you'll have it the way you want it. I'm going to actually fix this because it's that would make me crazy. But, um, but you can also take an X-Acto knife and come along here and trim off some of this. Let's do one more piece. Okay, so this is the black backed copper foil. 
check it and make sure it has enough adhesive. If it's been sitting out and it's been oxidized, you may not have enough sticky, technical term, to make it work. And if you don't, then it's not going to stick to your piece. But um, you might go to the center of your reel and see if possibly there's some that's still preserved. If not, you'll just need to get some new. Okay, now I'm going to check here to make sure I'm centered. If not, I can fix it. And I overlap just a little. It just depends, too. If you have a big space, you might want to overlap quite a bit. And this is also when you would put in your um, copper wire if you needed to um, expand a space that you have a big gapping gap in. All right, so that looks pretty decent. Now, oh, the other thing I was going to tell you with this FID, many times we'll use came, uh, especially zinc, and you want to be able to push your pieces under the edge, and that's what this comes comes in handy for. So again, rub it, you know, burnish it all the way as hard as you can without don't break the glass or hurt yourself. And then just go around, push in your ends. And you can use your fingers. This is just a tool to help you. You find what works best for you and then just stick to that. And you can see the black under here. That's why I use the clear so you could see. That's a black backed copper foil. And even though it's pretty even, I can still see just a shimmer of that black line. But when I use the black patina, it won't matter. Make sure it's nice and tight. So I'm gonna keep going until it's just as smooth as I can make it. This is a good thing to do in front of the TV set while you're watching something someone else wants to watch. You can pretend to pay attention. Not that I do that at all, but you know, it's a possibility. I always like to stay busy and have something to do. So that's just me. All right, here we go. So now I have my two pieces, but I have a silver backed that has a problem, and I have my black backed. But for this purpose, we're going to leave it like this so you'll see the difference. And I hope that helps. All right, here's some examples of the black backed foil. And as you can see on the far right, you can see a tiny bit of that black backing Again, why we use the black patina. All right, and I'll show you the silver backed foil. And if you're in the class, you can actually see it. So there's the silver backed, there's a, it's, it's glass, so there's a glare, but in the upper left corner, you can see that silver through it. Okay. Then we have the copper backed, and you'll see the outside of the copper is oxidized but that's okay. The flux will still attach to it as long as it adheres to the glass. And I have to say, did a pretty good job, except for over here, you might see just a tiny bit of the copper, but that's um, that will be taken care of with the copper patina. Now, this is for all of you who've been paying attention. What's wrong with this piece and how can it be corrected? You'll have to stay tuned or contact me and I'll tell you. Can't wait to hear your message. Our next session, we'll learn to solder. See you later.